When the Assembly initially voted on this bill, I, including most of my colleagues, either abstained or voted no, because there were issues with the bill. We were aware that there was going to be a conditional veto. And with some of the language of the conditional veto, I think a lot of us had said that we would support this bill. My question specifically for you is, what in the conditional veto specifically makes this bill such that your caucus could not support it? It doesn't go to the heart of the intent of this bill. And the heart and the intent of this bill is to keep the abuser, uh, have them surrender their firearms. It's a very simple premise. We want to make sure that there is an orderly process where these abusers have to surrender their firearms. That's basically it. So even if there's existing law which is duplicative, um, the conditional veto language enhanced criminal penalties, you know, gave additional protections. My colleague, Assembly, uh, I mean, went through some of these things. It, you know, it just, on this bill in particular, mm -hmm. you know, the fact that how many months have gone by since the conditional veto occurred? Well, we, we, the conditional veto didn't come until, uh, th that was November. And I wasn't even aware of what he was going to do. Okay, and the history that disappeared on this, do you have any idea of how that occurred? I'm That's sorry, can you repeat the question again? The history that kind of vanished on this that Assemblyman Bucco was speaking about, do you have any idea of what occurred there? Just, just give me one more. Okay. So um, I'm just getting to clarification. I never agreed to the conditional veto. It was never agreed upon. So I'm not. Okay. I, uh, you know, I have the same concerns that were expressed by my colleagues. You know, we're at a point where we're a week before Christmas. So the language that was put forth in the conditional veto, for all intents and purposes, initially appeared to have been accepted, whether or not that was correct, incorrect, or otherwise. It just, it doesn't show any of us at our finest. And the fact that we're doing this to try to just score political points, and that none of us are even attempting to work in conjunction with one another. You know, we are turning into D.C. We had enough time to rush four constitutional amendments through a committee this morning that will change the entire shape of the state of New Jersey. And yet, we can't get together to try to put, together, put forth two bills that everybody, I think, in this chamber could get their arms around because it's easier to score political points, and that's sad.